This is our Player of the Week analysis. School spirit. One thing about Newton, what I love about Newton, when Newton plays a road game, the crowd comes with him. The, Absolutely. The, the Newton fans, they leave Covington. They don't mind leaving Covington. Oh, three look ball, at that. Three Castle, ball. no. And there's the late call. It was the Newton fans that were complaining to the Norcross student section. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, then, and their thought process was the, the, the young lady said, this isn't a home game. You don't have to stay at it. Technically, it is a home game, even though it is an event. Did we get this call right? Let's look at this play further. The key to this play is to referee the defense. If we referee the defense, we can see that when the shot goes up and the defender can test the shot, our defender is jumping in directions such that he's going more toward the sideline than he is to Stefan Castle. In this freeze frame, we also see the distance and the airspace between their legs when they both hit the apex of their jump. Let's see what happens. Now right here, as we freeze the play again, we can see that Stefan Castle extends his leg into the plane, more specifically the vertical plane of our defender. This is a legal contact by Stefan Castle. Now we have some decisions to make. The defensive foul call on our contesting defender is the incorrect call. Stefan Castle initiates the illegal contact between our opposing players. It should be a no call as our defender was not displaced by the illegal contact by Stefan Castle. This could also be a flop one or technical against Stefan Castle. If displacement were to take place for both players, then this would be a player control foul. Our center official made an inaccurate ruling on this play. This is our Player of the Week analysis.